Hey there, baseball fans, and welcome into the Catch at Las Vegas ballpark. I'm your host, Matt Neverett, coming to you from the Robert J. Bloom broadcast booth here in the press box high above the plank surface at Las Vegas ballpark, where you'll see our ground crew dutifully plugging away, no pun intended, at the plank surface. The two-time best ground crew in minor league baseball never takes a day off, and neither do we here at the Catches. On season two, we're going to be taking a look at recaps of home stands to get it going, with the Aviators kicking off their 2022 campaign against in-state rival Reno in the Silver State Showdown, featuring a three-game split either way. And what an opening night it was for the Las Vegas Aviators in front of a packed house. It was Finn the Bat Dog getting things going with a new partner this year, younger sister Lambo, getting in on the action. After Zach Logue allowed the only two aces runs over his two and two-thirds innings in his first start of the year, a mix of five bullpen arms, including Chester Pimentel, Parker Markle, Sam Selman, Austin Pruitt, and Ryan Castellani, blanked the aces over the game's final seven innings in a come-from-behind 3-2 to two victory on opening night with Luis Barrera and Mickey McDonald leading the charge with multi-hit efforts from both Aviators batters. After dropping the middle three games of the series by scores of 8-7, to 6-4, to four, and 7-1, to one, Saturday night featured a t-shirt giveaway, a packed house, and the second Aviators win of the series and of the season. After the Aviators were able to jump on the board first on Saturday night, thanks to the first AAA home run for Nick Allen of his young career, it was a lead that the Aviators would hold wire to wire, but not without some mid-inning drama. After plating two more runs in the fourth inning on a Shea Langoliers home run, it was the Aces playing comeback kids, scoring two runs in the fifth and a comeback run in the eighth in an eventual win for the Aviators, featuring a big-time crowd on a Saturday night. And in the final game of the opening homestand of the 2022 season, it was the first day game for the Aviators. In a 12.05 first pitch, they held off another late comeback bid in a six-game series that featured five games decided by two runs or less. After the Reno Aces stormed out to a 4 to nothing lead through the game's first four innings, it did not take long for the Aviators to mount the big-time comeback, scoring a run in the fifth, plating three runs on the sixth, all on a Shea Langoliers home run. But it was Luis Barrera, the hero on Sunday, sending the home crowd home happy. Another 2-2. Thomas backing up. Thomas at the track. Thomas at the fence. Leaps up, and it's gone! And the Aviators walk off to split the series on a home run into the right field bullpen by Luis Pereira. The Aviators are mobbing Pereira at home plate. Overall, it was a really fun and competitive six-game series with each side splitting three games apiece to kick off the 2022 campaign. The Aviators featured some solid starts by their starting pitcher. Of course, they're going to be able to stretch out as the season progresses. But most starting pitchers on both lineups were limited to about 50 to 75 pitches in their inaugural outings of the 2022 season. So excited to see what the Aviators starting pitching can do in extended outings. And now we'll take a look at our Valley Health System injury report. Fortunately, at this point in the year, no aviators injury to keep you updated on. But there are a couple of Oakland Athletics prospects that will be appearing in games for Las Vegas in the near future, including James Caprellian, who was excellent in his aviators outings last year. Caprellian, a slow start and a shutdown during camp due to irritation in the AC joint in his right shoulder, expected to start a couple of weeks behind camp and will likely appear in games for Las Vegas when he returns to action at some point in mid-May. It's a similar timeline for former Aviators outfielder Cody Thomas, former two-sports star at Oklahoma, starting off the year on the injured list due to a procedure on his right Achilles tendon. It was an Achilles injury that plagued Thomas for the majority of the year last year after he clubbed 18 home runs and batted 289 in limited outings with the Aviators a year ago. Also fully healthy this year, entering into the beginning of the Major League regular season is A.J. Puck, the former Florida Gator, the big left-hander, reportedly fully healthy and has added 25 pounds of muscle to his six foot eight frame adding to the velocity on the fastball and if puck can stay healthy features to be a big part of the oakland athletics bullpen throughout the season 
After an off day Monday, the Aviators will travel to Salt Lake City, Utah to kick off a six-game series against the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim AAA affiliate, the Salt Lake Bees. The Aviators return home for a six-game homestand as part of a 12-game homestand over a course of 13 days as they'll welcome in the El Paso Chihuahuas, the San Diego Padres AAA affiliate for that six-game series starting on the 19th of April. And on Saturday, the 23rd, it'll feature a giveaway of Finn the Bat Dog t-shirt giveaway to the first 2,000 fans in attendance. will not want to miss that one. The first game of that set on the 19th, also one of our 10 Cox Yearview games televised locally. So be sure to check your local listings at aviatorslv.com for more information. After an off day on April 25th, the Tacoma Rainiers come to town. Seattle Mariners AAA affiliate for a six-game series starting on the 26th of April. A couple of big-time giveaways in the homestand. On the 29th, Friday, it will feature a mini Bluetooth speaker giveaway to the first 2,000 fans, brought to you by our friends at Office Furniture USA. And is the force with you? If so, come on out to Las Vegas Ballpark on Saturday night, April 30th, for Star Wars Night at the ballpark. Grab your lightsaber, make your way out to the ballpark. Fan costumes are encouraged, and the players will join in on the action with the special-themed Stormtrooper jerseys. Of course, many fun Star Wars-themed giveaways and promotions. That's Saturday, April 30th. Be sure to check your tickets at aviatorslv.com. Expecting a big crowd for that one. As always, every Tuesday game, the Aviators will transform into Los Reyes de Plata, the Silver Kings, as part of minor league baseball's Hispanic heritage, the Copa de la Diversión initiative. Every Wednesday night will feature Bark at the Park presented by Subaru of Las Vegas. Be sure to check aviatorslv.com for all your canine-themed giveaways on all of our Bark at the Park Wet Nose Wednesdays, if you will. And then every Thursday night featuring $2 beers. Again, tickets at aviatorslv.com. Be sure to follow the team on all social medias at AviatorsLV. Be sure to check out AviatorsLV.com for ticket and promotional items and giveaways. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe as well. Here on our Las Vegas Aviators YouTube page, let us know what content you want to see and hear on upcoming episodes of The Catch and all kinds of our planned content promotions. Follow me on Twitter while you're at it, at Matt Neverett, and be sure to check out our upcoming editions of The Catch here at Las Vegas Ballpark. Thanks for tuning in to Season 2, Episode 1 of The Catch. I'm Matt Neverett saying thanks for catching up, and let's go Aviators.